This introduction video is going to run through some of the shoulder applications that you can apply motion guidance visual feedback to in clinic. For starters, you can use motion guidance as a visual cue to guide the patient through range of motion. This way they can visualize the amount of motion they have as well as the control of the motion in different planes. You can easily adjust the angle of the laser pointer to cue them to move higher to hit the same target, or lower to hit the same target. You just angle the laser upwards or downwards. Once the patient's positioned, you can literally add a visual marker anywhere and just encourage them to get back to where you brought them, or bring the laser pointer back to a specific target. Allowing the patient to see how high they can move also encourages them to move further. And they can visualize how much progress they're making. You can also apply the feedback to external rotation. The guided feedback might come into use for a shoulder patient that has an instability or after a labral repair where you only want them moving in a certain zone of external rotation. For instance, you can say, move but don't go above this line. One really useful application of the motion guidance system is testing joint positional awareness of the shoulder. You can simply have the patient locate the target, close their eyes, and try to get back to where they thought they were in space. Research shows that patients with shoulder instabilities have an inherent deficit to their joint positional awareness. You can train this. You can also get creative with joint proprioception, such as having the patient hold it in target while completing a task such as walking. This would be an example of a static function of the system where you're trying to keep the laser in the center of the target as opposed to moving during an exercise. More dynamic functions might include standing on a bossy ball and also adding motor control skills to that exercise such as tracing butterfly shapes on the tracking wheel. Here's an example of using a visual cue on a standard exercise, just trying to help the patient figure out where their shoulder is in space and get back to that mark to perform an exercise in a specific position. Using two lasers, you can work on dissociation between thoracic and shoulder movement. To learn more about how to use motion guidance, visit us at motionguidance.com.